everyone and welcome to my September sales video. Um, I've picked out 20 of my favourite sales and I'm just going to go through them with you and tell you a bit more about them. First up is this seagrass storage basket. I um, picked it up at a boot sale. Uh, I think we showed it in one of our uh, boot sale vlogs. I picked up a number of baskets on the same day. It took a bit longer to sell than the other baskets I picked up that day and I think that's because it's a modern basket and not a vintage one but it's still a really lovely basket and it did sell eventually. In fact the person that bought it actually wanted two, wanted a matching pair um, and wasn't put off by the fact that I said I only had one. So yeah, really pleased that it's gone and I've um, got £15 for it. This Jaeger dress is something that I've had in my stock for a long time. Um, I think we've had it since we had the unit and we were just exclusively doing clothes. Um, so I, I don't remember how much I paid for it or where I purchased it from. Um, but I've been trying to go through all of my backlog. I've I sold a lot off in bulk and um, I'm now going through the pieces that I chose to keep. And uh, this sold within the day. Um, no surprise really, it's it's linen, it's Jaeger, um, I got £35 for it so yeah really really pleased with that and um, probably should have listed it a bit quicker but you know eventually it got, it got listed and it sold so can't complain at that. This cape is something else that I found in my backlog um, I think actually this one was particularly timely. Uh, capes are very much on trend at the moment and you know if I'd have listed it when I first purchased it a couple of years ago I, it might not have gone so quickly and I might not have got um, you know the price I've got for it now. So it's all swings and roundabouts you you never can tell so if you've got um, death piles you've got a backlog don't beat yourself up that you're not getting it listed as soon as you're buying it um, because everything sells eventually. Another jumper that I've had for a while, um, I think I actually purchased this one at a jumble sale so it's not been there as long as uh, the other items that I had. Um, but yes, it has been sitting around for a while. I finally got round to listing it and it was the perfect time um, I think as soon as September hits, people start buying woolies, they start buying cardigans, jumpers, um, anything winter. Um, and I got £15 for it, so very pleased with that. Again, another backlog item that I have absolutely no idea where I purchased them from or how much I paid for them. Um, but I was very very pleased to find them in my box because I love hobs. Um, really good quality items that always sell well. I always get a really good price for hobs items and um, and yeah and they always sell quickly and these were exactly the same. They sold very quickly. Um, they had the added bonus of the fact that they were quite quirky. Um, to the immediate eye it looks like it's a pleated skirt and they're actually clots and yeah really fun. I purchased this denim skirt at a boot sale that we went to in the summer and uh, I picked it up with a couple of other dresses. I took it to the lady who was running the stall and I asked her how much she wanted and she said uh, three pounds on the dresses and the same for the skirt. And I was like, oh, are you sure? Because there's, these are dresses and this is a skirt. And she was very adamant, yes, because um, it was a warehouse skirt and warehouse skirts are expensive. And I'm thinking, well, you know, the dresses are a good brand as well and um, good quality, expensive dresses. But anyway, um, I, you know, I, I tried to get it for less and she wasn't having it. But in the end, Nick was buying some more things from her as well. Um, so we bundled it all together and as it worked out I actually paid less for the skirt anyway so win-win. And as you can see I've sold it for £12.99 plus post. 
This was a jumble sale pickup and it's actually been listed for over a year. So I have Lex Oliver to thank for this sale in particular because almost as soon as I added the keyword land girl to it, it sold. Um, and she's the one that suggested adding that keyword to um, skirts that would qualify as land girl or World War II or 40s style skirts. Um, so yeah, thanks Lex, because <laughs> I got 12 99 for this skirt eventually. And um, yeah, I had a happy customer as well. And now it's time for some wicker. Um, you know, I always have to inject some wicker somewhere along the way. And um, yeah, I bought these on the same day at the same car boot that I bought the seagrass basket at the beginning. Um, this was from a different stall though. Um, and again, they sat around for a while. They didn't sell as quickly as I hoped that they would. But I just, I remember the stall holder at the time saying, are you going to um, sell these on? And I, th I think I just said to him at the time, no, I'm going to put plants in. Or I, I didn't say no, I said I'm going to put plants in them because I didn't want to lie and I didn't want to get into that conversation with him. And um, he said, well, if you are going to try and sell them, they're not worth anything. So this is for you, stall holder. I sold the set of three for £15. So this is far and away my best and favourite sale of the whole month. Um, I picked this up at a jumble sale. I think I paid £3 for it. Um, I made a beeline for it when I saw it on the rail because it, it really stood out for obvious reasons. It's just an absolutely beautiful coat, so vibrant and colourful, um, very soft to the touch. And um, I think the lady wanted five pounds for it and I got her down to three. And um, yeah, 80 pounds return on it. I'm very, very, very happy with that. And um, it's been a while now um, and I haven't had a return request. So I'm hoping I can safely say that the customer was happy with it. So back to my backlog. Um, I don't know if you remember that uh, a couple of years ago, you probably don't because I barely remember a couple of years ago, um, but we bought a job lot of Bowden jeans and trousers from a car boot sale. Uh, we got a great price on it, so they barely owe us anything. Um, and I've started to list them. I've got some that are more um, catered for summer, sort of linen trousers, um, a real mix of things. but. Um, I think these have sold quicker than some of them because they're, they're corduroy, which is bang on trend at the moment. Um, they're a really lovely colour, very sort of bluish grey. Um, yeah, so £15 back on them. That's probably, I don't know, paid for the whole lot. Um, and I've already sold some of the linen trousers as well. So, um, yeah, they the others can just sit around for a while and people pick them off as and when. I'll probably incrementally lower the prices on them just to get them shifting. Um, but yeah, nice to see these trousers finally listed and finally selling. So tartan and checks are back on trend again for this autumn and winter. And I'm starting to notice a rise in sales of um, anything that I've got listed that's tartan or checks. Um, and this is no exception. Again, it's from my backlog. Um, it's also jewels, which really helps because it's a, quite a sought after high end brand. Um, so it was the double whammy of an on trend pattern and a really good brand and got 20 pounds for it. Nick and I picked up um, a number of men's shirts a, a long time ago, probably a couple of years ago now. Um, from a charity shop and I did have a number of them listed which they weren't it was a while ago now but they weren't really shifting so I thought I would try this one again um, you know I've got a bit more experience on keywords and um, ways in which to photograph and present a listing um, much better than I did a couple of years ago and um, this did actually sit around for a while but it was priced quite high and 
it did eventually sell as well. So it doesn't matter if things stick around for a while. Don't panic about it. The right person will come along eventually. Um, just stick to your guns and stick to that price that you really want for it. Ted Baker generally, well, men's shirts from Ted Baker can fetch a really good price. So if you believe in it, just stick with it. And, you know, I did. And thankfully, I did. And I got £45 for this shirt. This is my favourite pickup of the month and probably my second favourite sale of the month. Um, I, I just love my Disney anyway, um, but this was really unusual, really quirky. I've not seen one like this before. Um, I've seen The Nightmare Before Christmas, but Oogie Boogie looks very different in the film than he does to this, this plush beanie, whatever you want to call it. Um, I didn't even recognise it at first. I, I picked it out of um, one of the sort of rummage soft toy bins in a charity shop. And the only thing that attracted me to it was I saw the label said Disney Parks. So I picked it out to see what it was and realised it was Oogie Boogie. I thought, well, yeah, we'll have that. I mean, you know, I was going to have it anyway. I didn't even bother to research it. Um, and it turned out to be something that was quite rare and very sought after and yeah sold it for 20 pounds so um if you see one of these around definitely pick them up um yeah he's really cute isn't he i picked up this canon sure shot camera along with one that was a bit more vintage um a while back now and the vintage one sold very quickly and it sold for about £60, which I was absolutely thrilled with. Um, this one took a lot longer to sell, but I got £17.99 for it, which I'm not complaining about at all. I think I did drop the price a little bit. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with Canon generally because they're a really good quality camera. And... Um, yeah, I was just really happy to see that sell eventually, actually, because I started to wonder if it would ever sell and if I'd have to keep lowering the price. But it's gone and, um, yeah, really pleased with that. This basket is from a recent jumble trail that Nick and I went on. Um, I showed it in a video, in a pickup video, and I think you can see it in, in the vlog that we did of the day as well. Uh, paid 50p for it and sold it for 16.99 and again a very fast seller um, I think it's just because it's you know really quite unusual very bright vibrant in colour and um, yeah a lovely wicker sale these shoes were a pick up from the same jumble trail um, I think I showed these in my last haul video and again you can see them in the vlog of the day um, I just wanted to show you that I sold them for the asking price and um, I was very happy with that. This Peruna dress has sat around all summer with hardly any interest in it. We're coming into autumn winter now and it's sold. <laughs> so, you know, go figure. Um, but I think the reason for that is um, the print on it um, because animal print specifically zebra print which this has in it um, is very on trend at the moment lots of bloggers are talking about it you see it in fashion magazines etc um, so I think that's the reason why it's been snapped up now um, and also you know don't be afraid to sell summer stuff in autumn winter because people still go on holiday um, some people you know might buy it from abroad and they live in hotter countries so you're always going to sell out of season or out of our season items. Um, so don't worry about listing seasonally, really. And this is a perfect example of that. Just as I started to put all the images together for this video, I received a return request for this dress, which is very frustrating. But, you know, that's the life of an eBay seller. Um, I can't complain really because my percentage of returns is not very high at all. Um, hope I haven't jinxed it now by saying that. <laughs> but um, 
yeah frustrating uh, the customer didn't like the way that it, it tied up at the back and how it looked on her so um, she's returning that and um, paying the postage herself so it's not not a biggie um, just frustrating because it was a nice sale and means I've got to relist it now and hope that it sells again um, but what I wanted to talk about the reason why I put it in this video is because as you can see I've used stock photos here um, and the reason for that as you can see by my photos um, I just it's a size 24 and I've really struggled to show it in its best light um, it didn't hang very well I it would have just drowned my mannequin and it, you know it w I wouldn't have done for me to model it myself um, because it would have done the same thing and it wouldn't have hung properly so I went to the lengths of um, finding the original stock photographs of this dress and just putting together a little collage to just to show it off so that the customer has a better idea of what it would look like worn um, and it obviously worked but she didn't like the way it looked on her so um, you win some and you lose some. This was a great sale, um, it was another purchase from the Jumble Trail that we went on and I only paid a pound for it. I showed it in my last haul video and um, I didn't realise when I picked it up that it was actually a silk dress. Um, I only saw that when I started to um, look at it, to research it and to list it. Um, so I listed it for $34.99 and it sold within days. And finally is this Jaeger linen blouse. Um, this is something that I listed the beginning of summer, uh, springtime maybe, and it didn't sell at the time. It had a few watches and a bit of interest, but no sales. And um, I don't think it's any surprise really that it sold just as we're coming into autumn. Um, but yeah, really happy with the price on that, twenty nine ninety nine, and um, watch out for some lilac because it is still a very popular colour for autumn. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or any questions that you wish to ask, um, please comment below. Um, if you haven't subscribed or this is the first time that you've watched one of our videos, um, my husband and I are full-time resellers and we have a channel where we share what we do, um, lots of vlogs of going out and um, picking up stock, um, boot sales, jumble sales, jumble trails, etc. And, um, and we just share what we do and we share our sales and our haul videos. Um, so if you fancy something like that, then um, please subscribe and um, look forward to seeing you again in another video. Bye for now.